Hey folks, happy Wednesday. How's your day going? Um, having a good day. I was up. Had a really long day yesterday. I was uh, in my office from about uh, 9 a.m. till about 10 p.m. I had uh, meeting upon meeting upon meeting and a good time with our ministry school monthly session. And uh, so I've been working at home this morning. About to head out to my church office meetings this afternoon and then this evening. Hey, if anybody can join us, I'm going to be doing a Wednesday evening seminar in Strawbridge this evening, part two of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to be talking about the revelatory gifts, the power gifts, particularly talking about uh, word of knowledge and healing. So if you're interested in that, join us this evening, 7.30 at Sturbridge Worship Centre. Um, that's about it, really. Not a lot going on today uh, to tell you of, but uh, God is good. <clears throat> Went for a nice long walk with my dog this morning, which is good. Good for my health. And um, yeah, about to go and find some lunch. Um, hey, let me show just what I've been reading today and studying. I've been reading through First Samuel recently. I love, love the Bible, don't you? And... Uh, Love to, uh, some books of the Bible you really come alive to. I love 1 Samuel. Samuel's, um, it's a book of transition. It talks about the, uh, the transition from the, in a way, from the judges to the prophets to the kings. And, you know, it starts off in a way in the realm of the judges. It's really a continuation of the book of Judges. And you see Samuel the prophet being birthed. And there's such, uh, such amazing lessons, you know, a lot of what I learned about hearing from God's voice, I learned from 1 Samuel 3 back in the 80s, uh, some really powerful principles. In fact, I'll be sharing some of those this evening. And uh, for some reason, I've been thinking about coats. Maybe it's because it's winter's coming, but uh, 1 Samuel is full of coats. Think about this way, you know, Hannah, um, Hannah prepared a new coat for Samuel every year, it says in 1 Samuel 2. In, um, in 1 Samuel 17, it talks about Saul comes and puts his coat, I mean, literally like a, a fortified, like a coat of armor, puts his own coat on David. And it says David couldn't, couldn't walk with it. It was like, uh, you know, Saul was, if you know the scriptures, the Bible says Saul was head and shoulders above any man in Israel. He's a really big guy. And um, it would be like, uh, you know, me putting my, um, overcoat on my nine-year-old son it wouldn't fit him and uh, another thought about coats there as well one Samuel's full of coats you know the time when uh, David finds Saul asleep and he probably at a human level is tempted to kill him and he had every justifiable reason to do that and instead he sort of nicks and he cuts Saul's coat just to show him in a way hey I was here I could have done this but I'm a righteous man, even if you are not. And uh, <clears throat> why say I this? You know, there's all these prophetic symbolisms in these coats. Number one, Hannah made a new coat for Samuel every year. Here's a quick thought for you today. Are you wearing the same coat you've been wearing for years? Why, why did she bring him a new coat every year? Because boys grow and you need to grow. And it's um, a, lot of, a lot of the church wears the same coat. You know, a lot of churches are still wearing Martin Luther's coat or Wesley's coat or Azusa Street's coat or the Charismatic coat or a Toronto Brownsville coat or a Lakeland coat or, you know, on a Word of Faith coat or whatever. And God wants you to, he wants you to embrace what he's doing now and wear that, but not be limited to that. And uh, my point is Hannah brought Samuel a new coat every year because he was growing because what used to work it doesn't mean it's wrong it replaces it but we're supposed to grow the outward man perishes but the inward man is renewed day by day and we should be growing in god so let me challenge you today how's your walk with god is it grow is it the same as it was last year has it gone backwards is it growing how is your worship life how is your relationship with with the word of god how is your evangelism how's your giving are we growing? Do, uh, do what we used, do the way we used to operate, the coat we used to wear, um, still fit us or does it no longer fit us because we've grown? And that's what it should be in a way. We should go, you know, I sometimes like to say, I like to go back and read books I read years ago, great books. 
and um, I'm going to read through E.W. Kenyon recently. The reason I do that is I read some of those, you know, 30, 35 years ago now, and um, the, the books are the same. Nobody's tinkered with the text. <clears throat> Nobody's rewritten the books, but I'm different. I've grown. I'm looking at them through different eyes, through different lens, through different perspective. So I would encourage you to grow and grow and grow. And uh, maybe, maybe um, the Lord's saying to you, it's time to upgrade your coat. <laughs> so that's a little thought for you today. Hey, again, I'll be out. Um, I've started a new series both here on YouTube and I'll be teaching that and also putting a, a CD series out on the new man, the new you, walking in newness of life. And uh, I had a lot of good response to that. I'll have a video out later today on that uh, subject, walking in newness of life. So check those out somewhere below me on my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please consider hitting the subscribe button down there and uh, give it a like, a thumbs up, press the bell. And yeah, drop us a line and check out the links below. Thanks for watching guys. And again, if you are in Connecticut or Massachusetts and you're free this evening, come and join us at Sturbridge Worship Center. We're we'll doing some worship at 7.30. Prayer at 7, worship at 7.30, and I'll be teaching on the gifts and getting, I'll be getting people doing the gifts. Um, so we're going to have some real fun there. Great. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Love you.